guys, we're in Belgrade right now in front of the Audio Pro store who are the official store selling orange amplifiers and we're going to pick up my new orange Rockerberg uh, 100 MK3 which I've been waiting for quite some time due to all the problems with the borders and Great Britain and just the normal shipping place. so let's go and check it out. Put on the masks and stuff, yeah. Okay, hi guys, we're back here at Citadel Studios and I'm testing out my new Orange Rockerverb Mark III. This is the 100 watt version. Uh, I've seen a lot of tests on YouTube doing the 50 watt version, but I just kind of went for the full thing because I just wanted to be able to crank it up more and get that tube saturation, you know, and uh, drive the speakers a bit more, I guess. So I guess one thing I should mention is that uh, whenever I test uh, guitars and whenever I'm making it sound, I always listen to just one speaker. I don't listen to the speakers in the middle or something like that. I don't know, it's just kind of my thing because I'm used to listening to that look isolated one guitar sound from parts and songs that I like. For today's test I will be using my angle cabinet which is loaded with various speakers but I will be miking the K100 by Celestion which I especially like when it comes to like uh, dirty guitar sounds. I will be using the SM57 of course and an, uh, Sennheiser MD421 which I will place like at a 45 degree angle and I'll just put them on the cone edge, which is like the most standard place you'd place these mics on. And this is a, a technique I've read is commonly used by Colin Richardson, so I guess you can't really go wrong, right? The guitar I'll be using is the Jackson Kelly KE3 model, which is loaded with a Sommer Duncan TB5 pickup. This is my favorite pickup of all time. I've seen it uh, in Gary Holt's guitars, which is where I got it from. And uh, the tuning is C sharp. My band Quasarborn tuned down just because it's easier for me to sing <laughs> from this tuning so let's get right into it so uh, what i've got in the beginning is i've got the f757 and the md20 uh, 421 is dialed in like 10 db lower so it's just adding a bit of uh, some extra mids and uh, the 
2K kind of thing that's going on there. And I've got all the settings uh, on the dirty channel of my rock reverb set to noon, except for the volume, which is like 11 o'clock or something like that. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Now, since I'm dialing kind of a sound for my own needs, this is a bit too neutral for me, like there's not enough gain, the, the separation of the notes is not, like the, the accents are not as like tight as I would like them to be. So what I'll do, like we can introduce one of two things which I like to do. So I've got a Tube Screamer, the Maxon 808 Overdrive. And I've got an MXR EQ 10 band, which I will be using before the input of the amp to get kind of my input signal to where I want it to be. So for, ex for starters, I will kind of uh, turn up the gain on the amp itself. <laughs> Now that's a lot more gain already and I've just moved it just a bit. This is like 2 o'clock-ish. This is already kind of a heavy sound and I'm liking it already, but I still want to get some more of that punch. So let's try putting in the Tube Screamer. Uh, the settings that I use for the Tube Screamer are the basic stuff you see all around, like no drive, balance and tone in the mids. Maybe I'll get give a tone try a bit later, but let's see what it does for now. really like how the Tube Screamer works with the orange. I have like a feeling that it kind of almost turns it into a regular amp, which is maybe kind of stupid and just my own thing, but that's just the way I feel. I kind of think that the compression and the, the compression of the mids and it kind of like reduces the low end inputs into, into, the, into the amp itself and it just sounds kind of basic to me and I don't like it. So that's not something I will be using, but let's just try and get the tone up a bit. So I've got the tone set to 3 o'clock. Okay, that's kind of better. I guess the bite is still there, but it doesn't sound like as mid-rangey as it was sounding before. But there's another thing that I prefer using to the Tube Screamer, and that is the EQ. Now, what I like to do with the EQ is the following. I'll just have to like turn up some of the high frequencies, cut out some of the low ones. So I get pretty much a very single coily kind of sounding uh, pickup going into the amp and driving the amp. We've got like the high frequency is almost to plus 6 dB and the low frequencies are minus 6 dB. So that's like a 12 dB difference. That's quite a lot, right? <laughs> pretty full, right? But this has got some more bite to it, like more attack. Okay, let's see turn off the EQ and see just how the amp controls behave. Let's start with the travel, right? Now, 
I don't really like the treble when it goes like past like one o'clock. I think it kind of sounds to starts to sound a bit harsh and almost like 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 a transistor amp or something. I guess maybe that's a stupid way to describe it, but I just don't like how it sounds. So I will never turn up the treble above like one o'clock. I will keep it at twelve, like for now. Uh, let's try the mids. <laughs> Wow, like the mid-range in this amp like holds a lot of the overall sound, like the overall volume is mostly in this knob, it's almost like I'm turning it up and down. Well, I like the way the mids sound, so let's just turn up the mids a bit. I have them at around like two o'clock, maybe between like one and two, and let's keep them f there for now. And let's see what the bass control does. Okay, the bass control is pretty basic. It really kind of just adds bass and removes it. So. <laughs> it's that's what it's supposed to do, right? But like I feel like this is the most self-explanatory one. Okay, let's try and dial up. No, I'm just kept it at like one o'clock. I don't really need that much bass for now. But when I turn on the EQ, which I will do right now, no, I had a shitload of hiss. Um, I will need more bass just to make up for what I've lost in the preamp, so... those uh, EQ controls a bit more extreme. Well, now I've lost some gain because low frequencies are kind of what drives the amp the most, right? So I feel like I maybe need to add just a touch of gain here. Uh, of course, there's also, I mean, you can just pull up the volume knob on the EQ itself, but I've just chosen to do this because I want to saturate the amp's preamp itself. I mean, I prefer to do it here than on uh, the pedal, and let's just hear how this sounds. I really like the, like, this zingy thing that you can hear like the strings and the pick I, I really like that i enjoy that sound very much i don't hear it like a lot on some of the modern guitar sounds but i was like really chasing after that tone and let's just hear how this pickup sound sounds on the clean channel like let's see what's happening actually without the eq it really accents the string sound, like the mids of the string and reduces some of the like low, like mumbling, rumbling thing. And I think that's something that I personally really enjoy for my sound. Okay, now something I've been like toying around with is the following settings. So I'll reduce like my lows here even more and I'll get my amp ups, amps like mids and lows up to like three o'clock.
really enjoyed that sound. So, I mean, I'm not really like demoing the Sam to show you the versatility of it because honestly, at this very moment, I really don't care about it. <laughs> I'm going to experiment the shit out of it like in the following like uh, year or so, but for now, I'm just kind of obsessed with finding like my own sound with, with it and this is kind of where I've been going and I really like it and I will definitely use it on like Quasarborn records and probably on some other records too, like for people who like my sound. And um, that's pretty much it, uh, what I wanted to show you uh, from this amp at this time. So stay tuned and we'll have uh, more demos and probably some other things coming soon.